You just go for the flame ring. I generally go for the the strength ring. Yeah, AC is a blow up. I was considering using like w one of these third party websites to like try out that. trading and stuff. But they're kind of sketchy. I tried doing that with turnip selling one time. And you're lucky to come across a turnip, a person that has a good price for turnips and isn't trying to rip off the people visiting them. They, like, uh, they'll ask for like five bags of gold and like 20 of those island jumping tickets and stuff. Like, and if they don't even, you don't even get, if you don't give them to them, or the items to them, they won't even let you in. And it's like, 90% of all the islands that I see in that exchange are people asking for tips up front. So I'm even more reluctant to, to sell turnips or to buy turnips. Yeah, little cocksuckers. Like Eris likes to call them. But I mean, I did one time one day, I had a really good price for turnips on my village. It was like 300 something. Best price I ever saw. Never saw that price again. Out of uh, like the month that the game has been up, that's the first time and only time I'd seen a price that high for my own village. I let people in, but nobody, not many people showed up. Like maybe five people. Are you serious? What the fuck? So this weapon um, just has shitty range. If you do a running R1 right here with uh, two-handed, you can usually hit this dude from the bottom there. That's what you see me doing there. I'm trying to hit him just because I can, and I get really mad when it, the weapon is too short. I thought it was just a fluke. It's like, nope, the weapon just has a, is this too short? Useless information. That's all I'm good for. Hey, Yanks. How it goes. I know a lot of useless information about this game. Wow, that actually hit me. Good game. Axes are not your friend. They're all right in this game. I'm just... really annoyed that this shit seems to be going... Badly for me. That he was actually not standing behind me. Great. Go down there. I forget that this character starts with like all gets a guidance. All right. Bars sort of set up. Give me your sword, will ya? Nope. I tried. He, he didn't want to give it to me. The Agates are guidance? Is that what you mean? Sparkle, sparkle. God damn it, thrice! Ah, fucking piece of shit enemies. I I seriously hate this little hallway here. They put three pieces of furniture that you, you have to break individually. And by the time you do it, they're all on you. And it's like a it's like a 50-50, you're gonna get hit by one of them. This is just me trying to go fast. 
and it clearly isn't working very well for me. Heck, at this point, I kind of think I'm just not going to pick up that ring. Yep, and uh, the implementation for Havoc is not very good in this game. Ah, uh, yes. This Evergrace level of... I don't know what hit me there, honestly. What the hell that was. Very good shit, brother. I think I got hit by, like, the, the, the tip of the spear. So this guy just has more health. Interesting. I'll get the ring. I usually mostly, I just do this usually to clear the bridge. It's way safer than doing the speedrun strat, which is literally run the entire length of the bridge with all the enemies still. Plus, I'm like, I'm foregoing a lot of items too, which will throw off my, my final soul count, but I don't think I really need that many souls. And it's not Dark Souls 2, so the, the flame won't clip through the cliff. So this will be fun. You see? Totally fine. If this were Dark Souls 2, I'd die. Because Dark Souls 2 is a piece of shit game. Who doesn't... That doesn't consider uh, obstacles being between you and a dragon. A dragon's fire just goes through the wall for stupid reason. I'm thinking of Scholar, you know, like that one Drake that they put in Scholar of the First Sin, because that makes sense. I'll, f I'll play Demon Souls and then um, eventually I'll go play Dark Souls 1. 69 though. Damn it. He lost interest in me when I went around the corner. My own undoing. Dead angle. Uh, that's cool. I enjoy dead angles. That. Okay, didn't die. That's good. Because uh, if I didn't roll, I would have died. That's pretty much all there was to that. What? Huh. I pushed his guard open. That speedy boy strat kind of worked. Only way I can play DS1 is if I pretend Ornstein and Smo is final boss. Hey, you're kind of like me. I kind of give up at Ornstein and Smo. It's like, damn, that was a pretty good first half, and then I lose interest in the rest of the playthrough. Because then every other area after them is a crap shit with a gimmicky uh, piece of shit mechanic. Really dislike the second half of Dark Souls. People complain about Dragon God being a really shitty puzzle fight, but then they play against the Beta Chaos, and that's even worse. Literally, you just have to literally learn where to stand for that fight. Because there's no obstacles that say, oh, I could hide behind this thing and maybe it won't see me. It's like, no, it's not about sight. It just sees you and it hits you. So you have to know where to stand. Whereas in, like, um, Dragon God, you know you could just hide behind a pillar and he won't see you. Dragon God, it's cool and original. Demon, uh, Dark Souls, it's just, um, 
repetitive or thoughtlessly like, carried over and not iterated on. It just, it's like a worst version of Dragon God in like every sense of the word, I think. Especially with the way that the floor falls away. That shit is mad annoying. It's like, well, there's no real way f or reason for you to believe that the floor would fall away, just like that. Especially considering the first part of the fight. Or uh, when you're breaking the very first seal. There's no reason for you to believe that the floor would just fall away. Especially when you're, um... You're in the middle of an area where a guy is trying to smack you like a fly. And, uh... You're instinctively... They're... You're instinctively running. Because you don't want to get hit. And then you make a bad decision and you end up... Falling through one of the breakable floors. Mm. Not good at all. So let's see. Um. Sonic Ice Cap? Is that how it worked? Wow, I really did not pick up anything. Um, normally, I'd have 16k souls, but I missed literally a thousand, a 10,000 souls. Crazy how that works. What? Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Um, don't need to kill a lizard. There are only, there are two drops that I need to get in 2-2, two, two, and that's pretty much all I need. I was thinking about using a bow, but... <sighs> yeah, we'll use a bow. I'll use a bow just to make it safer. Several areas are much safer when you use a bow. But the thing is, is that the bow is literally used in that one area, so it kind of makes it a, like a gimmick item. But I'm not like the type of dude who focuses on using one weapon. Kind of like, I'm not like Milk, for example, where I try to maintain using the one specific weapon as long as possible. Sharp stone, of course. Oh, I, I'm expecting to not be able to buff crushing weapons, by the way. It's just, like, an assumption I have. Since the weapon scales the strength. I could be wrong. Clear weapons, for example, buff. And crushing weapon is a... It's like a physical-based weapon. Most of the... I think all the physical weapons allow you to buff them. So I'm just... I don't know. You would think after watching EMB so many times, I would know. Because I definitely saw his playthrough with the Crushing Battle Axe. But I don't remember him really focusing much on, like, upgrades for weapons and stuff. He was more interested in lore, so I remembered the videos as such. Just focusing on lore and not, like... Yeah, just circle strafe. And I got a teleporting backstab. Nice. How does it feel, game? Oh, come the hell on with that. Are you serious? What the fuck? Twice in a row! Thanks a lot, from Soft. Alright, moment of truth. Yep, can be buffed. Nice. Slightly more powerful. Get. Man, they are really doing that overhead today. I should change my stream title. Uso shouts at Demon Souls for the upteenth time.
Hold on a sec. Let me put this down very slightly so I don't touch anything. There we go. Forgot I had that. Didn't really need it. I am gonna get hard stone though and upgrade the bow. That's what I will do. I've decided bow. Backstabs seem to be pretty weak. Yep. They're weak. And I'm really bad at parrying these guys all of a sudden. Oh, come. That was totally a backstab. What the fuck is it with them giving me attacks they never do? Man, this game sucks. Now I remember why I stopped playing it. They're just doing random ass attacks that I never use. Like that weird, this weird horizontal crap. He normally just does this overhead. Hey, look, he, he gave me a partial, partial repost. Damn it. See, that's the amount I'm supposed to do to the guys with the pickaxe. But for some reason, every so often, I think it has something to do with weapons that use direct damage now that I'm noticing. Sometimes you're just not going to do a total, the, the total amount of a repose. For whatever reason, you just don't do full damage. Thanks. Why am I messing up all my fucking parries? This is so fucking frustrating, piece of shit game! God damn! Not a wall, by the way, and I'm still rebounding. Good lord, this game pisses me the fuck off a lot. I got a free iron knuckle. Thanks. Come here, you freaking dog. Yep, lock onto the enemy furthest away from me. Good lord, that sucked. Mm, chair. Huh? What? The last blow should have killed you. Direct damage, I guess? I am so confused. Should have bought a knife. That's what I should have did. Use a specialty weapon for this area, because the knife just destroys literally everything here. Doesn't even have to be upgraded. Oh, again. Nice. Thanks. What well, should have killed it didn't kill it because it was just an impartial repose. Stare PvP because that's great. Six games and you still can't repost enemies on stairs. Enjoy. Enjoy this game. This game sucks hard with a lot of the jank in that's just here. This game sucks. Oh my fucking god, this game sucks. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. These guys just have more health. They have more health than the other enemies for some reason. And then you'll find another guy with a pickaxe up here, and he's gonna have less health than this guy. It seems like they put- they deliberately put stronger dudes in these tunnels just to be assholes. Cause it's like that up at the top near the fog door. There's one guy that baits you when you get through the door, and he has more health than the other guys around him. It's like, what? You're trying to kill a dude on the way up? Why would you want to do that? I don't know, I'm just talking out my ass. I play Demon Souls, that's pretty much my number one thing, is talking out of my ass. Right, I don't need him. I need him. Yep, lock onto the dude behind me, because that's Demon Souls. What speedrun? World record? I don't know. I know it's in Silico. I'm gonna check that real quick. Well, I was going to check it real quick. Forty-four forty-one. By in Silico. He's a. Uh, He's Irish. Or at least according to the flag, he's supposed to be Irish. The hell are you? Normally you can just walk up that trough right there and backstab him, but sometimes it just doesn't. And con uh, consistent physics. Or pathing, maybe? I'm not really sure what what system governs whether or not you get the backstab on an enemy or not. Goomba stomp. Actually, I wonder how many soy paste. Birdo, Sanzo's is re Sanzo's old record is still up there in the like the top five. That's pretty impressive. Kragen is still up there. He's number. Wait a minute. This is oh, Nax and Sanzo have the exact same time. I didn't realize. So they're both share they both share fifth place. And then Kragen is number seven. Damn, when is Kragen gonna claim his record back? I'm waiting for the day. I think the last thing I saw him playing was King's Field or Shadow Tower or something. Th those are kinda like Demon Souls. Nice to see that these guys don't have that much HP. So if you want to repost enemies on the stairs, do it sideways like this. Otherwise, if you try to do it like a height difference, sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes, most of the time it does work, and then sometimes it just doesn't. Alright, um... We will now try and see if one of these hammer bros drops a graystone shard. Because then we can upgrade our weapon a little er earlier. They're more likely to drop graystone shards than they are their weapon. Hey, Kalindo. Is that how you pronounce it? There's the shard. Nice. We got lucky. We got a free shard. So now all we need is a chunk. No point in going back to upgrade yet. 
We will activate it, though. I could do... I could do the halfway skip. I could try, anyway. I kind of don't feel like it, though. Hmm... Thinking. No need large shards. Skip the dogs, maybe? Thanks, I play Demon Souls too much. Usually I stay here, stop here to kill stuff, but I don't really feel like doing that, so I'm just going to run past them. They're gonna follow me, but hopefully I run far enough that they lose aggro. Don't think that's going to be the case, though. I'm pretty sure one of them at least followed me. Looks like I got out. Good. If the dog followed me, he just, like, sort of... He loses his tether, I think is what you would call it. It's like a, um... An aggro range that they have set on all the NPCs and stuff, and if they break their tether, they lose at interest in you, and they just try to go back to where they're sitting. So if you made the dog run too far away, he just sort of becomes docile, and he starts just walking back to a spawn point. But most of the time, they they gank me, so I usually don't get that lucky. And I'm killing this guy for some grass. Demon Souls is a it's a pretty shitty game, I'm, I'm not going to lie. But I play it a lot. I don't know why. It's like uh it's like this dude that I know that plays Street Fighter 5. A lot of people like to complain about how bad the game is, but they still play it. I'm I'm very hypocritical in that sense. This game sucks. But I can't stop playing it. Oh, I forgot to equip the white, the white stuff. There it is. I'm wearing the thief's ring because the boss would see you through the door otherwise. So I can equip this inside and not lose any time. If you don't wear the thief's ring, he's locked on to you the moment you walk in. So he's already firing. It's all right, damage. Not great. Heck, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to one-cycle him with this kind of damage. Dead hit? Are you fucking serious? What is this, Dark Souls 2? Well, it is the prequel to Dark Souls 2, so I guess that's true. This is the prequel to Dark Souls 2. When you're running the set on Street Fighter? Somebody's gonna have to buy me the season pass, man. If you guys want to see me play that game, you're gonna have to pay me like 80 billion gajillion, you know, like Nathan Fillion dollars or something. <gasps> is that Tevin? I mean, like, is that the real Tevin? Or is that just somebody pretending to be Tevin? Why do you need season pass when Laura exists? That is true. Why would I need the season pass when Laura exists? Laura would probably be my main, or uh, Armika. Everybody knows why, by the way. 
You all know why. We know. Can't be Tim. He's been banned from Twitch. That is true. Jermaine Campbell. Well, all right. Where am I going? I need to go this way. All right, so what we need is down here. Here's the shard that we would have normally got if we didn't get the, the other freebie. And this is the only guaranteed chunk of Greystone in the entire game. Really stupid. Because um, this one item right here is why I hate the farming in this game so much. Because um, 9 times out of 10, farming is tedious and not dangerous at all. It's in here specifically to waste your time. Didn't you know that Tevin was an R&B singer from the 90s? Had a few hits and was actually a voice in the Goofy movie. Wait, which voice? I haven't watched the Goofy movie in like... 20 years, maybe? Maybe I should play it again for the memes. Powerline. He was Powerline?! Little Powerline? Powerline was my my I, my hero, man. I, I would be. Big fan. Rest is, rest. Lil Powerline? I've been in D uh Eris's stream okay. too much. Alright. It's you your... should he should let me up. Okay, he does not touch Greystone. That sucks. Thanks a lot from Software. Now I gotta run back here. Well, that's good to know, Goon. He'd been in here a couple of times. I thought he was just somebody else. Aramika's in base game, but if you don't have DLC, you can't go into trading mode. Is that is that right? No training mode without DLC. The nerve, Capcom. You've already got all my money tied up in Dead Rising stocks. Which reminds me, I need to play through Dead Rising. Alright, we just need the one pure stone we get from other guy. Skurver. Oh. Hold on. And then away with ya. What is DSP up to these days anyway? I stopped watching him like months ago. And it's mostly because... Lately his content has been kind of... Stale. I think that's the right word. I think that's the right word I'm looking for. His content has been pretty stale. Usually he has a lot of pretty good hits, like, game drop my inputs, dude, nothing I could do, and and so on, but lately I haven't, I just don't watch him because he's really boring. The soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Out of Charging $100 to put on clothing? Oh, the vest streak, yeah. I've been hearing about that. What is he up to now? Like 4069 or something? 4069? Where am I going? I guess I'll go to World 4. I go to World 4 usually because you get a lot of souls and stuff. Technically, I could go fight Flame Lurker now and get the item to make this a plus 5. But I don't feel like it. Have you tried playing this on PC? Yeah, my PC's a clunker. Potato PC, like, made by the same guy that made DSPs. This is how you do ship a PC. Huh, why is this part broken? Except mine doesn't have the broken bit on the top. And I built it myself, smile. If you guys, you know, like, want to 
donate a better PC to me or something. I I'd be more than happy to uh, take it. You know. I mean, if you're gonna be a Twitch streamer, you gotta sell out somewhere. Come on, that should have baited the first guy. Come here. Hey, I got lucky. Nice. That actually counted as a repose. A ripazetti. There was supposed to be a follow-up. Nothing. Nothing came out, dude. Games dropping my inputs. Okay, I'll stop spoofing DSP. It's only funny when he does it. I'm, I'm usually not that funny. He traded it for his V-Bucks. Well, I, I can't fault him for that. It's V-Bucks. I mean, what else are you going to spend that, that credit on, dude? Food? My bills? I don't know, man. Um... Thinking, 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 don't need anything here, we're just gonna run through. Sorry, uh, Blige, you're just gonna die in a pit. He's gonna stay locked in, in DSP's funhouse. Uh, lost interest? It was gonna fire at me and then it just lost interest mid, mid fire. I was thinking about doing the regular skip, but then that would invalidate the run. Arbitrarily, obvious. Everything, are, technically, I've already invalidated the run by starting the game. Just by just by playing this game, you've inv invalidated everything you're doing, and that's really all there is to it. What playing this game is broken. Sorry, you're gonna have to start over, dude. I just got here, so I need to see the beginning of the run again. Just to make sure. You're not cheating or something. And to think, I I, I got out of Demon Soul. I, I, Animal Crossing retirement did you play this? I retired to Animal Crossing. I had an island and like a couple million bells that I had traded in for my souls. If there isn't a twin galaxy judge, this room is invalid. Crap. Well, I don't have a twin galaxy judge, but I do have a um, Connecticut Homeowners Association judge here. Is that, does that count? HOA? I'm in an HOA, does that count? I mean, obviously I don't live in Connecticut, but that's fine, because I, I can still pay them. Felt like a, like a shock run up my back when I popped it. That did not feel pleasant. Guys, I might be developing the D the patented DSP back injury. Okay, I said I'd talk. I'd, I'd stop talking about DSP, but it's it's funny, so I'll just keep talking about him. Twitch will probably say I'm bullying him, but. I'm bullying a streamer that has like 700 times the subscribers as me. At least I think that's how many subs he has. I haven't checked in a while. He's really nice telling everybody how many subs he has. And then complains when people ask him about how much money he makes. It's like, well, don't don't tell people how many subs you have. That's really all there is to it. Don't put top tip at the top of the stream like it's a freaking scoreboard. Why did I pick these up? 
I don't know. It's his force of habit, I guess. Oh, right. I had a bow. That's right. I have a bow. There's a bow in here somewhere. It's, it's used for things. Don't ask what. We're not getting patches either. He's, he's just going to stay down here. Whoa, hey, that's not the death ray. That's cool. It's better than not death. Uh, better than the death. All right, so. That's a really useful strat. I should have did it a little bit better, but it worked. Get rid of that. Um, pick that up. Now, nine times out of 10, this guy's gonna shoot a laser. And if you walk right here, usually it doesn't hit you. Usually. There we go. And then you can just stand there and kill him. There is like a one, like I said, there's like a 10% chance that he does, his, he does a swipe instead and it hits you. And normally that guy shoots a laser too, but he didn't. That works. So everybody's dead. What? Well, rip my no-hit run. What the hell? Damn it, Hob. All right. Here's the bow, and this is the one strat that I'm going to use it on. Though I should have duped and just made, like, a plus nine bow. That way I could actually fight the, um... Storm King and its little buddies. See, like, this damage is kind of minuscule. He's like, what the hell, dude? Wow, dude, how was I supposed to know a guy's gonna come in here with a bow? Just sit here and wait while he goes back to his spot. This is, like, the only area in the game that I use this bow. What was that? Must have been the wind. Damn it. Get back here. Nobody's spamming cheesy much, and I guess I must be doing something, right? Then again, it is my stream. Literally nobody watches me. I've been watching a lot of Ella, or like Elias. Dude, that guy's like getting super popular all of a sudden. Like he's getting like 10k people watching him. It's crazy. He's usually like half that number. And then all of a sudden there's like 10k people watching him. I think it was because he, he just got the Dark Souls remastered all bosses record back. Because he was the original record man for a while. Didn't hit anything. Hope he got a ton of V-Bucks. Oh good, it's already equipped.
That's pretty decent damage. The buff only adds like 10 points. But you might as well. Who else am I going to use this magic buff on? That did not hit me. What the hell? Yeah, see, like, it added almost no damage to it. It's like no buff seems to work really well on this guy. It's literally just spam R1 and he dies. Did I, um... Yeah, I missed that. Um, I'll go back to the Nexus real quick. I don't feel comfortable with this amount of health. I need a bigger health bar. I need more stamina now. What I should have done was like just go to Mugen Monkey and check like the damages but damage difference between a clear stone weapon and a gray stone weapon. I'm fairly certain that the difference between them is like 10 points between their uh, maxed out states and stuff. Because of uh, gray stone high scaling and strength whereas uh, clear stone is like mid scaling between strength and dex. So like S strength CC for clear stuff. And for the most part, uh, I've always remembered that the difference between the numbers is like 10 points. Almost always. Because the, these guys want you to think that there's depth in their systems because there's so many systems, but in actuality, there's no depth. Uh, it's just. 90% of the uh, weapon upgrade tiers are garbage, and only like two or three of them are really, really good. Tearing weapons, for example, are really bad. I would not recommend using them in the at all, because I've used one. You can't buff them, they remove a lot of base damage, and the S tier, that the S scaling that you get from full upgrade isn't worth the loss in damage. Bleeding is not even as good carryover either. Adding bleeding to a weapon that would otherwise already have bleeding doesn't help. Because bleeding is like low level poison. It just doesn't help compared to literally any other um, like poison and plague are way better. And even then poison isn't that much better. That makes sense. Just a lot of systems in this game that exist and most of them are just trash. Unfortunately. Trash, unfortunately. I sold the game because I told you it was trash. Is that what you mean? I sold it. No, the 10, 1050. Oh. So you did sell it for V-Bucks. I think that's what Goon said, right? You got a 1070. Nice. I have like a 970, I think. I haven't looked at it in a really long time.
It runs, probably. I can still play Minecraft. I, I can still do chill streams. Would you guys like to see a, a chill Minecraft stream sometime? Oh wait, I did sell it, but I don't know what I used the money on. Must have been V-Bucks, who knows. <laughs> I was just kidding about the V-Bucks thing, but apparently it really did happen. I spent all my V-Bucks on Animal Crossing. Wait, what? Yes, that's right. Animal Crossing has V-Bucks now. I just made that up, though. Alright, time to go kill, um, Lame Flurker. Wrong axe. Hey, lady. The hey. Soul of the mind, key Yo. To life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its best. Pardon? Thanks. Kill Lame Flurker or be killed by Lame Flurker. It's th that's two the two options. It's been a while. He may kill me. Or I could fall down the, the shaft here. Who knows? Probably I, I try to play Demon Souls at least once a month now. It's mostly just for these kinds of weird meme runs that don't really have anything to say. That's why I'm saying I should be a speedrunner, otherwise I'm gonna run out of material very soon. I'm gonna run out of content very quick. At least with this kind of video, I don't have to edit. Perfect for a slub button. Raw, unedited gameplay. TM. And raw has like a, it's all caps lock and there's a space between it. Just to stress the importance of how raw it is. It's so raw, Goran Ramsey is complaining about it. Plus, you don't have to see, since I don't have to farm, there's no downtime. It's literally just non-stop balls to the wall action. That was not action. Pretty good damage. Stupid backstepping bitch. Man, that is such good damage. This should be like, are you piece? Are you piece of shit? Yeah, I, I knew I was going to get that because I hit the wrong item. Come here. Good lord, the damage on this is so good. See, even without the buff, this weapon, this weapon slaps. He slaps. That was a side roll. What the fuck? Thanks a lot, from Soft, with his shitty side rolls. Side oh, that was not the side swipe. That was his. He's angry. He is his angry face now.
jump. Bam. There we go. Men. You should check out WWE Champions on mobile. A mere 40k and you can be pretty good. I do play a couple of MOBA games, but I'm not a whale. Hell, I don't even put any money into them. And I'm still probably mid-tier in terms of, like, um, damage. The thing is, is that the game that I play doesn't have, like, a ranking system or anything of the like. So I have no way of knowing how I match up against other players. Dragola, you lost, by the way. It's a pretty fun game. Or at least I like to think it is. Sometimes it just is utter shit, though, and I usually complain. Nice, I didn't get sick. I think I'm gonna get hit. Good, I did not get hit. You're supposed to stop running, so you can just do a standing R1, not a running R1. The running R1 takes too long, and it, you're, you literally have like five seconds to break that rock before he puts his hand down on top of you. Now, speedrunners don't stop here, they just keep going, but I'm stopping here to make him not look for me anymore. So he should see me down here now. Good. Bait him into attacking somewhere else. That's the strat. And now we will get the ring that makes us do even more damage. Nice. I would check out Dark Souls. You like Ella? Ella's pretty good, yeah. Like I said it earlier, he just got the old boss's world record back for remastered. And it was crazy, too, because he didn't look like he was going to... I haven't actually seen the run myself, but from what it looks like, he he just like went god mode the last couple of splits. It's, I'm fairly certain it's remastered, because he's doing remaster-only strats for that game. Because if he were playing Prepare to Die, he'd, he'd have other things. The game crashed on him? Uh-oh. Huh. I wonder how that'll go, then. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's Remaster. Because he's, he's doing only strats that work in Remaster. Like, um... Menu duping. That you he does on the elevator. I forgot to get the weapon. Hold on a sec. I almost forgot to get it. Let's go get it. So I need to get the dragon dragon bean smasher. So uh, we can show it to Skurver and get pure Greystone. Yeah, it's no worries. I don't like to toot my own horn about being right, but I guess I'm right. Smile. I think I got that bit where I emote out loud from like Moon Moon or something. Cuz I remember he likes to he likes to say emotes out loud sometimes like that. Smile. This should be good. I should be able to pick it up. Yep. I'll go level up. Because I've used, I think, all my Arcstone shards. Yep. I'll just level up and then use the Nexial Binding to get back. I should have used them before I left, is what I should have done, but... Gets rid of a lot of the um, useless backtracking. I say useless, but it, it is more or less what it is. At this point, I don't really play this game for, like, plot or story or whatever. 
I mostly just play it for fun. Though I should do a lore through. You guys want to see a lore through? Where I'm going to need 50 gifted subs like right now. Smile. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from... Wait, did I put the wrong one? No, I didn't. Okay. Almost thought I was wearing the wrong axe. It's like, why is that so little? I'll do a lore through again of this game eventually. I like to point out the weird inconsistencies. I'll be the next body video. Hello and welcome to Demon Souls Law of the Cubes. I need to get my hands on Demon Souls debug so I can make my videos look more professional. I love doing this. Toggle swaps. Gods. Ye gods. Oh, oh, you nearly f f frightened me to death. My, then it is a, a truth. I, I would assert if you, the bone. The bone. Ah, um, oh, take. Oh no! I. Shit. I can't bone out. I'm gonna lose my souls and then I can't upgrade. Okay, never mind. We'll have to leave the old the other way. Just the way we came in the first time. I'm gonna probably fall to my death now. We'll go this way instead. Hold on a sec. There we go. Ah, perfect. Should have gotten that the first time I came through. Oh, here's a perfect place to farm for Greystone in case you don't want to be a stupid cheater like me. There's like three rockworms that spawn right here guarding this one item. And you can just stand at a distance and shoot them with a bow. That's why I was complaining about farming earlier. That's the only way to get Greystone. At least, uh, unless you want to go kill miners. There's like a couple of miners at the beginning of 1-1 one, one near the shortcut to Ed. That drop Greystone on occasion. I was lucky and I got one drop from them, but I didn't really need it. Since I'm duping and all. Ed. I take a risk by rolling across like that. There's a chance I might stop short and just fall to my death. All right, that's a substantial damage boost. It went from like 190 to 235. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, next is three, I guess. Making sure I actually had it, the right one equipped. Time to go die to the die to gravity in World Three. I'll have like a I, I can see it now. It'll be like a side roll, and I just fall off one of the um, platforms in Three Two.
What is 3 2? Tower of Latria. Please help me. Whoop. I'm thinking speedrun for some reason. Which is actually, this is actually not the speedrun. Kill him before it gets off and you don't get hit. It's pretty nice. Whoop. Get. Is this your favorite Souls game? Yeah, technically. I like how cohesive it is and how um, just different it is from the other Souls games in some aspects. Please help me. It feels so just different from the other Souls games. It's probably because it's not trying to be very Dragon Ball Z with a lot of its bosses. I like boss variety in this game, even though it clearly, the way that I play it, it there's clearly no fun, like, at all. Because, uh, my builds are mostly very try-hard and very specific, so, um, I'm usually killing a boss in less than, like, a, a minute. So it takes a... and plus, since I've played the game so much, I've taken a lot of the challenge and interest away from the game. So sometimes the game just looks kind of boring. That's what I feel it sometimes happens when I'm playing the game. The game looks really boring because I just walk through it without even stopping to look at anything. That was why I was saying maybe I should do a lore through. Because there's some, there's some interesting stuff going on here, even if you don't really see me stop to look at it. Why not then go into Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2 and 3? I was thinking about it. I, I need to do No Death and Dark Souls. I was thinking about doing No Death and Dark Souls 2. But only like in any percent. Because I feel like 42 bosses is too many for me to want to do a No Death. Or at least not right away anyway. I was thinking about maybe doing, doing a No Death uh, any percent for Dark Souls. And then working to no bo all bosses. Because that's what I liked about Dark Souls. You have a you have a lot of optional bosses. Where in this game, the only way the boss is optional is if you skip them with an, an unintended skip of some sort. Oh yeah, I still enjoy the game, even if you hear me shout a lot. Because it's like, um, I need... I need, like, that pushback, essentially. I always need pushback when I'm playing video games. Yeah, this game was made 11 years ago. Almost 11. I didn't even think about it like that. It's almost been 11 years since this game's been out. I think? Yeah. Good, I can still wear it. Alright. Slightly more defense. These pants work pretty well with this set. Plus, this game wasn't made with the assumption that it was going to do well. It's like that with the other Souls games. This game was just made as an experiment. The, the other Souls games were made uh, as a sequel to a super successful first game. So that's what all the other Souls games have going for it. They have tenure. This one's just like the one-off that inspired the other games. That was... It was successful in its own right. It was. It's pretty successful in terms of console exclusives. It made a little under 2 million units, or sold a little under 2 million. 
Though I don't know if that number is any higher than it was when it that number was released, which was like five years ago, I think. So I'm not really sure how many have sold since then. That's kind of the problem with trying to keep track of those kinds of numbers anyway. Oh yeah, every other Souls game after that has sold more than Demon Souls. And it's mostly because of cross-platform, with exception of like Bloodborne. What are you talking about, streamer? Bloodborne is cross-platform, smile. It's on PC now. Technically, if you, I don't know if it's on the PS4 emulator yet. There is a PS4 emulator that I've heard of. Now I'm just going off on a tangent. I do that a lot, I like to ramble. I'm trying to think. Um. Hmm. Shit! I forgot to pick up the freaking ring. I knew I forgot to do something. Well, um... I knew I forgot to pick up something else, too. Hold on a sec. Shit. I got plagued. And I forgot to pick up the freaking Widow's Lotuses up there. I just jumped right past him. Hold on a sec. The time that it takes me to get to the Widow's Lotus, I'll have Clever Rat Ring set up. That red uh, halo thing that I have now is from the silver bracelets. The ghost, or the uh, thief's ring masks the effect. Because it's like an effect that overlaps everything. So if you get like a stamina boost, I think the, the thief's ring actually blocks the image for it or something like that. It's really weird. I died. <laughs> Great. I knew it the moment I fell, I died. Because, uh... Just walk off slightly to the left. <sighs> Have a good one, NG. I'm just gonna finish this run. I don't really feel like starting another one. No death isn't really that fun anymore in this game. So I'm just gonna finish it as a regular run. That was why I wasn't really, I was kind of reluctant to even make this a no-death run, because honestly, no-death is... That's usually what kills me. Just falling. At this point, I kind of just need to move on to something else, huh? Dark Souls no-death, maybe? Heck, I'm kind of just bored. This weapon is alright. It's not bad. I don't actually ha I don't think I need to do an entire run to tell you that crushing weapon is good. What I should have done was maybe a crushing great axe or something. Crushing great axe? Hold on a sec. We'll stand here and let him put me in the clever rat ring setup. I think he only needs to hit me one more. Oh, come on. There it is. Right, I never picked up the clean ring either. Oh, this should make short work of her, uh, Fool's Idol anyway. 
clever rat ring, master ring. I'm gonna just probably four shot her. I'll try to do the speed strat. It's two R1s and two R2s. They usually run down the center. I'm gonna run down the side though. I don't want to risk getting head butted by one of these guys or um, overheaded by one of them. They do like a the two handed over the head attacks. Yeah, see, it's it's a really reliable strap. Thought I was close enough. Rolled a little bit too fast. Oh, fuck's sake. I hate this gargoyle, like, a lot. Because he always crubs the elevator. Not sure why I picked that up.
go left instead of right, and you don't have to worry about um, one of the gargoyles catching up to you. I talked. I got that from Manchin, who doesn't play this game anymore. That strut, I got that from Square. If you stand in the, the far left corner, most of the time you can get the gargoyle that's standing up here to drop. Saves you a lot of headaches. This guy's gonna follow me. Because I didn't kill him the first time, but it's fine. He should land like right here next to the fire. Freaking push. Fire does slightly more damage to these guys than the magic buffs. So I guess I'll just use it on them. The, uh, the follow-up for that attack is really annoying. So I can do this, but I can't do the follow-up. I can only do R1. And then I get memed, and I lose all my buff. Fucking god, this game sucks so fucking much with this. Oh, I hate this game so fucking much. Because of this shit. Because of this shit, I hate this game so much. Because the first one will not come back now. He just wants to keep fucking flying and going the other direction. I am trying to kill him and his buddy just shows up. This game sucks with this shit. Holy shit. That's how fucking inconsistent the fights are in this game. It's literally night and day sometimes when you fight this asshole. And he still will not come down. Oh my fuck this game. And it's not even my fault. That's the problem here. This is not user error. This is just the fucking game being broken. Such shit.
He still hasn't fucking landed! Mm, fuck this game! God damn, this game sucks! Sometimes, you literally don't get touched. Other times, you get memed like this. That's literally the spectrum for this fight. It's literally nothing happens, everything goes wrong. There's literally never an in-between. God, I hate this fight so much. It's, like, it's my least favorite fight in the game. Just because of how fucking inconsistent it is. This is the one fight that makes me not want to do the speedrun. Because of just fucking how awful the fight's just turn into sometimes. See, this part's the easy part, just running past all the enemies. Oh, I forgot to put the thief's ring back on, so that guy's following me. Forgot about it. <laughs> of course I forgot about it. That was the speedrun strat. If I was wearing the, the, the Thieves ring, he would have died in, or if I was wearing Clever Rat ring setup, he would have died instantly. I actually did the fight in, like the speedrunner was supposed to. You're supposed to make him circle strafe, or circle strafe him to make him turn to face you, and it would make him just prioritize facing you than doing anything else. Like, seriously, this game sucks sometimes. And yet I still play it. Time to play something else. Dark Souls is next. Some kind of no-death run, I guess. What I need to do is, um... Well, I say that. What I need to do is do a casual run just to get a good idea of where I want to go and, and what order and stuff. That's what I should do. Rip Demon Souls, unfortunately. I've, I've stuck to Demon Souls for too freaking long. I'm going to lose like half of my followers now because I don't play Demon Souls anymore. Oh, bow. Yeah, no fucking shoves for me, thanks. No spicy shoves for me, thanks. Thanks for not rolling. The fucking shove! Oh my fucking god with this garbage! Holy shit, I'm so tilted. God, I hate that shove. It is so bullshit. If you don't have your shield up, you're getting shoved. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, but of course. 
Bombs? Bombs. Let's just not lock on. There we go. Great club. Morning star. And a stone of ephemeral line. Okay, what the fuck? Literally not even supposed to be up here. <sighs> Good memes. Yeah, I'm already tilted to the point that I, I kind of don't want to even play this game anymore. <laughs> God, this game is so fucking bad with this shit sometimes. Where you just sort of like... It's like a cascade event. Where you just keep making one mistake after another and it just compiles itself and it's not even entertaining it's just you're watching a, a guy who's in his mid-30s get mad at a game nobody cares about Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? You gotta be kidding me. You're done. This is stupid fucking bullshit. You know you're doing something wrong when even Ella knows you exist. And that guy's like the most normie out of all the speedrunners that I follow. Even Ella knows DSP exists? That can't be good. I swear, D he, he did a meme. He did do he did do the why am I toxic line in the middle of one of his speedruns. Why am I toxic? It was fantastic. Also, I got hungry all of a sudden. I hope I don't have diabetes. Diabetes. Though I haven't eaten in a while. I ate around 7, so I'm probably getting a little bit hungry now. Though lately, it feels like my, um, like my circadian rhythm, I think, is just off. I go to bed at such a weird time sometimes that... Like everything, like all my all my bodily systems are off. Like it's really weird. It's like a strange sensation where it doesn't feel like you're you know you're hungry, but your system doesn't want to tell you you're hungry. And I don't think I'm sick because I definitely eat. Ow. 
You had cod, rice, and broccoli. We had oven baked chicken, celery and carrots, some potatoes, and like some onion rings, and uh, the saffron rice. You know, like the bags of the stuff that you get from like Mahatma and stuff. That stuff's pretty good. Top tanner. And now it's making me hungry. Why are you always eating fast food, yo? Cod and, cod and rice and broccoli sounds pretty good, too. We have, like, um... Well, since the quarantine and stuff, a lot of our, um... Stores have been out of rice. So the moment I saw rice, it was like a 20-pound bag of jasmine rice. So I had to... I obviously bought it. I had to buy it. Jasmine rice is like my number one rice. So now we have like a 20 pound bag of rice. So that's gonna last us for like a week. Cause I'm all about making rice. I make like a lot of cooked rice, maybe sometimes two or three times a week. Rice is great. It goes with like literally everything. I wish. I wanna get like one of those uh, elephant branded ones or whatever. But there's like no Wait, no, no. There's a Vietnamese store, like, near us. And there's, like, an H Mart even further away than that. I was thinking about maybe one day just going to the H Mart and seeing they had a couple of those kind of things going on. Because, uh, I definitely want a rice cooker. Cooking it on the stove is alright. We used to cook it in the microwave. Never again. Shit, I forgot to pick up the black turpentine. I knew I forgot to do something. Hmm. You have to get one, yeah, I know. Just throw rice and vegetables in. Sounds like a perfect idea. What the hell was that? So you just hug this guy's ass? And he doesn't hit. That's pretty much all there is to him. Easiest boss. He used to be that I'd always try to stay in front of him, but no, you just get behind him and he pretty much just kills himself. But yeah, you're right, I need to get a I need to get a rice cooker. I I steam my vegetables on the stove. But we use like pretty much the same pots for both rice and vegetables. Leave us. <laughs> Fuck. Stupid freaking R2 attack? I hate that thing. It's always the one that I always fr forget about. I don't need to assist upon our leaving. We leave humble lives. What dare you? How dare you? Ah, I got freaking clipped by that? You gotta be kidding me. Get out of here. Give me your stuff. Yoinks. I only need the shield. <laughs> this is... He is the easiest thing. I take that back. He's the easiest boss. Because, um, where most of the bosses in this game get, like, an absurd amount of health per NG and stuff, he doesn't get that much. And it's probably because the game treats him like an NPC. He's not actually considered a boss, I guess, by game logic. But he does have, like, a trigger, you know, where you kill him and it makes the boss kill herself. But other than that, he has a really, sh he has a really small amount of health compared to uh, Estrella. Alright, now we can dump literally everything that I'm not using. I keep forgetting. So this is like the first time I went to the box. 
with exception to duping. Too bad I can't wear the um, silver armor set. That set looks pretty good. Okay, I'm kind of calming down. I'm calming down now. Play some more Animal Crossing when I'm done with this to chill. And the next time I come back to Demon's Soul, I've decided it's going to be speedruns. I'm going to need to um, make a new account or like a user on this system. So that way I can put a new unit or a new uh, save in the top slot. I don't want to delete my current save. Mostly because it's, um, it's my best save. 46 minutes or 46 hours new game plus seven new game plus eight it's new game plus eight now but the game stops counting at new game plus five but i want that as my that's going to be my lore through character the new game plus eight character that way i can i can do everything including spells and miracles because some of that stuff is Got a little bit of flavor text and stuff. Like Astraea stuff. That 10 FPS though. I forgot to unequip a bunch of stuff. Got a couple of them. Let's see if we can do the fire thingamajig. All right, have a good one, Yanks. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Shit, and I missed it up. Don't, don't worry. I might got lucky and it killed the dog. I don't think it did though. Nice one shot. That was supposed to be my running attack and it didn't go so what the hell was that a kick? Dudes in one three gain a kick. They all do, it's really weird. Didn't see me, nice. Twenty. 
I want their grass. Let me see if they dropped any. Nope. Um, we don't have any turpentine, so we're just going to have to use sticky white stuff. There's some grass. Didn't even save Estrava, so he's probably still stuck in 1-1. One, one. Heck, he may have even died. I'm gonna get this shortcut in case I uh, die to the penetrator. And since I didn't save him, his event doesn't happen. So I don't have to worry about extra dudes joining this fight here. I was hoping I could just sidestep that thing goes so long. grass out of you. Bought a free full moon grass just sitting about. So I usually go out of my way to get it. Plus, it's faster and you don't have to deal with many, as many enemies going the way that I just went. Best drop right there. That's fine. You put the shield up. You could just use an unupgraded, like, the leather shield that the hunter starts with. They rebound off of it. But if they do a shield bash, I'm not sure. But usually you just put the shield up. You don't even have to use soul remains on them. Oh, I knew I forgot to do something. Hold on a second. <sighs> I hate when he freaking backsteps. It's so freaking annoying. He's the most consistent boss, mostly because you can just bait him into doing that lunge. I say lunge, I mean like, it's like that weird slow charge up sweep that he does. Now I gotta practice uh, the 1 4 dragon area. Uh, I am very, I'm very inconsistent with this bit. Like I, all I, all I gotta do is just mistime it, and the dragon's gonna think you're further ahead than you are, and it'll blow fire in your face.
you only get one chance to do this because the cutscene only plays once. Otherwise, you mess with the AI. I think somebody told me the AI, um, the AI, 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 yeah, the Blue Dragon AI operates differently the first time you meet him. So uh, any subsequent attempts, he's gonna act a little bit differently. So let's see. Yeah, see, like that shit. Like, what the fuck? I'm fucked now. I didn't get fucked. Nice. Because, um, like I said, if you're in the wrong spot, it just blows fire in front of you. Like, the game made the dragon work like that in some instances. It's really annoying. Where, like, they... What is it? Leading the fire? Like, the dragon is leading his shots? Like, in a FPS or something? Oh, I know what you're doing. I see you. Here I come. Snipe ya. Well, that worked. I didn't even have to do anything. Okay, don't get in. Don't get in. Alright. One time, he actually got on the elevator with me. Freaked me out. I I wasn't even aware it was possible that for him to catch up to you. But apparently, he, he can. He can catch up to you. It's like, hold the door! Sorry. Sorry. I'm pushing the button and the door is just not opening. There's nothing I can do. Easy final boss, by the way. This boss is a cakewalk. Smile. I did this boss with a co-op partner the last time I played. This guy operates really weird. When there's a second person in the room. This part's fun. So if you're wearing the thief's ring when you walk in, you can just walk forward and stop like right here. And he just turns around. This is what I said about easy boss, easy life. I was thinking if I ever got into GDQ, this is how I was going to lead the fight for this boss. I would just, you know, like get up, talk to the people in the chat and stream and stuff, or maybe even talk to the people on the couch, if there is such a thing as a couch. But yeah, you can just stand here and wait for the boss. You take all the time you want. Heck, uh, I learned this from Majin, but then I learned that f a little better from somebody else. great strat because it's so fucking stupid and this weapon is so fucking broken and so is his weapon though but so uh, we'll call it even I knew I rolled right into it And whenever he does that AOE attack, he has a counter hit. Or he's counter... He's he's in a counter state. How did you defeat or not a counter state, but an instability state. So when he when he does that, you can punish the shit out of him. Best thing about Demon Souls. This one boss has a punishable attack. As opposed to, like, say, Dark Souls 2. Where a boss will stand still. And he gains free armor. For whatever reason. It's really... It's really great. Like, um, Velstat, for example, when he enters a buff 
on his weapon and stuff, he just gains free extra armor. Like the game, the game gives him more armor for whatever stupid ass reason. Like, oh, you, we won't let you kill him. He needs to buff. It's like, why should, why should the boss get free armor to buff in the middle of the fight? But when I buff in the middle of the fight, the boss exploits that and I take double damage. What, where's the, where's the fun in that? You guys are going to enjoy my Dark Souls 2 playthrough. I can just feel it. This chat, this chat knows me, like, really well by now. Well, I hit a wall, somehow. One time that this fog wall just disappeared. There it goes. It, so it does just disappear, huh? Well, all right, one death. I don't know how long the run was. It was probably a little under, it was probably a little under two hours. But yeah, crushing weapon, really good. Yeah, under two hours.